Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Loop Hero. We're going to try a slightly different build here for the warrior. Uh, I mean, do I want... Maybe I do want rocks as well. Oh, uh, hold on. Oh, boy, I'm conflicted. Uh, but I kind of want to try out the Ancestral Crypt with the warrior. I think that maybe we can make it work fine. Uh, like, 3 HP for every unit with a soul killed. I mean, one thing that is nice about it is that we don't have to care about HP on our uh, on our items. Which is, is certainly one thing. Also, item quality going down by 15%. I, I kind of want to test out the Ancestral Crypt here and see how it really goes. Because that extra resurrection with full HP, it's... It's proven to be something that is really important on Act 4 here. Uh, since you have to go through all the bosses, I feel like it actually adds up pretty, pretty darn well. Uh, we have the Smith's Forge. I don't know how good it is, but we're going to bring it regardless. Removes up to two items from the inventory. And we take less damage as a result for 10 hits per item. So does it go up to 20? I'm not sure. I think so. I'm also bringing the Blood Grove. I'm also bringing the Battlefield, of course. Uh, and I'm bringing the cemetery in the ruins, I'm bringing the blood grove. Like that's pretty much the main reason why I'm going to be trying out the uh, the attack speed route here. Pretty much my big old question of the day is: Should I bring in the rocks? Sure, let's bring in the rocks as well. Uh, it summons goblins, which stink. It summons harpies, which stink. But hey, we have the the bookery and oblivion, so we might be able to. Uh, appropriately adjust all of that anyways. And the rest of this stuff, I feel like... I feel like, nah. I feel like, nah. Why not? I'm not sure how well this will go, but we've got, you know, spoilers. Uh, spoilers, we have beat the game before. Uh, and this is just our attempt to now do it with a different character. Because, like, it, I feel like it's pretty uh, easy-peasy to, to get it as the necromancer. Uh... I feel like this might be a fine spot for the crypt. I mean, we really don't even need to put it down until an enemy with souls shows up, but we need to make sure we get this entire area filled, this spot, this spot, this spot, and, of course, this spot. We need all of those filled. Is there anything else that would be better here? Yeah, actually, probably the Blood Grove. Probably the Blood Grove, actually. Uh, or, or Forest, so that we could put a Blood Grove here. No, 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 no. We should do Forest. If we do Forest, then Blood Grove, then we can have the river run up through there. Okay, that should be fine. That should be fine. But yeah, we're bringing in the Cemetery. We're bringing in the Ruins. We're bringing in all of that stuff so that we can get things that have souls. Uh, okay, so we're running, we're running around this way. We're running around. Okay, because then we can do. We can do the forest there, right? Okay, we're gonna. <laughs> we're gonna ruin this, aren't we? I feel like that's fine that we can put that there. I, I think it's totally okay. Cemetery. Decent. Decent location, I guess. All right. <laughs> Certainly weird vibes, certainly weird vibes. We got our suburbs. We can build those wherever the hell we want. I think we'll build it over here, though. Because uh, we'll do the river looping around like that. Mountain. Mountain, 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 mountain. If we did this, then we could have the river. The river going around the giant mountain doesn't duplicate. How does that work? How does the river going around the giant mountain work? It doesn't duplicate the entire mountain every tile. That'd be actually ridiculous. Uh, there's not really good spots to do this. We probably should have done it up here. Uh, this up there so that we could do the mountain down here. I think that would have been a better call. We could do this. We could do it here. Uh, but I think we want all this space for wrapping around. We can start up here, move up like this, wrap around with the river. I think that's the better call. Uh, so we'll just have, you know slightly slightly non-effective uh, ineffective 
rock strategy, I suppose, is what that is. Truthfully, we should have definitely just uh, put the rocks down here. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. Uh, okay. I hope when we get a forest, I don't see that I messed this up. If we do, then we're probably just going to, frankly, restart from the beginning there. Because uh, I feel like, you know, two, two core mistakes about the whole shebang. I feel like you probably should uh, give it a restart while you can. You know? uh, all right. Ba -ba -da. I do think that this is... Okay, so yeah, we can put that there. Good, 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 good. I think we'll be all right. Will this strategy truly, truly work? I, hell if I know, man. The HP on these does nothing for us. Does nothing for us. So this blacksmith, I, I we put it down, it, we sacrifice equipment. I can only imagine it has to be the equipment in our inventory, not up here, right? Not equipped on our actual person. We do not get the souls for that. That's always a fun time. River. I'm looking for the... Did we bring the grove? We did not bring the grove. Okay, if we didn't bring the grove... What do we do then? Uh, First of all, seems pretty solid. Works for me. We should get the soul... But yeah, spam the experience. Yeah. Our HP is not my favorite. Not my favorite one bit. Not my favorite one bit. Uh, we will happily take all, any and all defense. Defense regen, those things are great. Just like raw damage and attack speed, those things are great as well. Uh, I feel like attack speed... Attack speed goes well with the vampirism because, you know, we're going to be doing more damage, meaning we're going to heal more. Uh, the thing is, like, a lot of times if you just get a bunch of vampirism and you don't have any damage to go with it, you're kind of just out of luck for the most part. Kind of just out of luck for the most part, then. All right. Whoa. Boing. So we are going to have to deal with the uh, the counter decoys. Those are going to be pretty, pretty frustrating. So how does this work? Okay, so it is just kind of how I uh, how I had anticipated there. Can we just put it right here? I guess why not here, right? If we put it here, we can't do the, the blood grove in a spot where we can avoid fighting the blood golem. But the blood golem has good loot. That is true. And we are not the necromancer. There's a chance that we can handle the blood golem. Why does it say six? Why does it say six? What does that mean? Is there a broken Smith's Forge? What is that about? Four, five, six, but what? What? Hold on. Does it deplete the same way as the bookery? That's going to be a disappointment for sure. I mean, this doesn't literally doesn't change anything but i'm gonna do it anyways uh the big thing i want to make sure we get a forest and remember to actually put it down here okay so plus 20 percent defense for 19 hits i mean that's pretty darn good that is pretty darn good i just got to make sure before we spawn zibos game shawl attack speed vampires and that awesome there we go Damage is increased by 20% of your defense or a bonus. 
a full hand of Oblivion is very interesting. But I feel like bonus damage based off of our defense is going to be uh, very, 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 very useful for us. Uh, literally anything that has a stat that's not uh, HP is something we're interested in going for there. I mean, that's damage. What are we at? We're at 19, 29. So we got two damage out of that. Is it a good idea? Eh. Eh. All right. Let's try this out. We'll, we'll try and generate a lot of souls for ourselves here. So we still have that defense. I mean, that's pretty good. Remember, forest. As much as it's going to be very tempting to do this here... We got a preempt. We got a preempt. Ooh, you know we got a preempt. This lasts a long time, though. Does it stack up to 40, I wonder? Or does it have that actual max cap there? I mean, the fact that it takes the equipment from here. What what happens if we don't have equipment? I don't know if it's if that's realistic. But, like, what if we don't have any, does it take it off our actual body? An Oblivion, that's really nice. It's very, very nice. I'm sure we'll get something we want to Oblivion. If not, we have the, uh, the obvious idea. So do we get how many stacks do we have? So we can get more than 20. Interesting. More defense, attack speed, regen. Those are all really good stats for us. Like, I want to put down the outpost. Eh. Alright, we'll, we'll, we'll probably spawn in the next loop. The old boss. So far, I mean, the blacksmith, it, it seems nice enough. Seems nice enough. More and more suburbs. This, what is our defense at? 34%. Uh, it's substantial. That is substantial. So we don't want to put this here because it blocks off our ability to potentially ever get the river out there. Um, sure. If we put this here, it blocks one of the spots but it would turn this into a blood area. I mean, I think that's fine if we have one. Because first of all, we can't. it can't be built on then. It's two, uh, two treasure chests. We just have to fight one blood clot, and it's in the spot where it's going to be, like, very, very... Um, yeah, that's, that's understandable. Okay, so we only got how many? One, two, three, three. That's not too bad. All right. So, first of all, we kill that one. That one's really important to get rid of. Because we want to blood grove that. I, It's not looking like we're going to get it in time here. I forgot we even had villages at this point. The hell's this guy? What the hell's this guy? What? Should we... I, I don't know what this guy even is. It's a little weird. Okay, so we're gonna... Loop, 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 loop. Loop, 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 loop. No. Loop, 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 loop. Okay. Alright. Who the hell are ya? That's suspicious. 
That's suspicious. A suit of armor just lying here on the road and... Wait, are you alive? Overfilled with existence. I don't understand. What should I do? What does alive mean? What does it mean to exist? Let's not dig this deep yet. Well, we'll focus on your first question first. You're quite a big guy. Protect the helpless or help uh, in our work. Can you figure... Can you forge metal or do you see yourself as a cook perhaps or... Weapon in my hand to kill to execute. You're standing in front of me, so I must be supposed to fight you. Chopping wood or harvesting wheat are also good options. My self-determination is complete. I am made for battle. My armor shall dull their blades, and my sword shall cleave their flesh. Well, there's some logic in your reasoning, but uh, generally speaking, you're an idiot. So what the hell is this? Artificial life. Okay. Uh, all damage done to this creature is reduced to one? Always becomes the first target. 30% chance to counterattack. 20% chance to receive double damage. Uh, it has 11 HP. So we have to hit him 11 times. We have a chance to do a little bit more. So... Seems easy. Seems easy enough. And he gets hard countered by attack speed there. Seems the only way to lower the aggression in this world is, well, some more aggression. Another soul is lost. If it was a soul... Of, if it was a soul, of course. Technically speaking, it was not. Otherwise, I would have gotten some HP up there. Hmm. Magic damage down draw. Like, these are things I like, but not for this boss. I'm, uh... I'm gonna put this down. I think. No. I'll, like, I'll have to oblivion it. There's too many other things I'm gonna want to oblivion. Ooh, many other things. Please get an actual KO. Thank you. A uh, chance to not spend healing potion is really, really tempting. I yeah. If we we if we die, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> How is it possible? Shut up. We got a score to settle. Hey. If we die, we die. I don't really care. But I don't think we will. Oh. It's going to be closer than I want, certainly, but things look okay. We're going to hit our exhaustion limit, and that's when things are actually going to get very dicey here. Yep. So we actually didn't use the potion either. Minus evade. That doesn't really matter to me. The attack speed penalty was more of the problem. I didn't really have evade anyways. Good enough. Good enough. Nonsense. This is impossible for so many reasons. I don't understand. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, you know it. I shall oblivion thine freaking face. Where do we even run out of our Smith's Forge uh, upgrade? I'm not sure. Okay. Okay. We are on planning. We are on planning. Uh, damage to all defense, evasion, vampirism. These are all very, very, very good stats. Defense encounter, defense regen, and evasion. I mean, all of those together is pretty good. Uh, we don't, like, the fun thing is we can just ignore the HP stat entirely. Magic damage, regen, vampirism. Defense, attack speed, counter. I'm doing it for the damage up. Okay, you're gonna take all my equipment, but it is okay. I didn't even give a toot anyway. You gonna get a goblin? No goblin. If we put a village here, don't we just hard counter the goblins with no need to even end up going for the? Uh, I mean, I think it, I, I don't think they can enter the town. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Could be entirely wrong. That is a little stank. It's a little stank. And we also have to deal with the harpies now. I want a bookery. That's what I really want. We're at 40% attack speed already. Boink, boink, 
Okay, so about here-ish, we are starting to run into the problem. Okay, uh, that works for me. We got our bookery! Hey, 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 hey! That'll do. That'll do. And now we can cycle out these cards that we're not going to be using. Good stuff. Nope. Nice. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Ruins. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure we have Bloodgrove in our deck. I mean, I'm going to be real bummed out if we don't, I guess, at this point. Uh, so if we're going to put the river up there, and it's going to be looping all the way through. Well, first of all, it's going to go up there. So if that's going to go up there, there's going to be river in this tile. And this tile is going to be a forest. So this can be a blood grove. So if that can be a blood grove. And by blood grove, I meant just a... Yeah, that can be a force, so that t that tile can be a blood grove. That's good stuff, then. Guy barely seems like a problem. Like, yes, he counters, but he also has given us good loot, too. Ooh, Nelly! That is amazing! This is really good for us right now, too. Can't wait till we get the stinking blood grove. I just can't find one for the life of me. All right. So this is the big spooky fight with the blood clot. We get the uh, the friendly help of all of these jabronis, though. So we just preempt. Uh, we'll preempt. So that I don't forget in the future. So far, so fine though. Things are uh, things are coming up, uh, coming up. Rita McGee. That is that is definitely tempting. We don't have a whole lot of like a whole lot of fights that have tons of targets though. That is an interesting idea or interesting thought about what we have. Do we want more? That gave us quite a bit. We'll spread the suburbs largely to the left. To the west. Largely westward. Harpies are definitely very, very annoying. Very, very annoying, but oh well, oh well, oh well. It might be worth oblivioning the center of, of the mountain. I've been told to do it. These guys also suck big time. For the warrior. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. They're wretched. I can't wait until we can. Uh, <laughs> Every counterattack restores loop HP below 30%. Regen's doubled. don't have very good regen. I feel weird about that. Damage all regen. Yeah, I don't know. It's a weird one, Mr. Grinch. I still have not picked up a dang blood growth. Oh, we got you in here too. Oh, he went to this uh he went to the side, huh? Super strange. Uh, defense, attack speed, and counter. That's a maybe. This one is really interesting to me. That one. Defense, defense, attack speed, evasion. 
Eh. Eh. The triple attack does not seem to use triple the, uh... Triple the resources. Uh-oh. 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 Regen and evasion. Damage to all defense. I don't need the attack speed. So... Sure, our damage goes up by two as well. Like, we're going to get plenty, plenty, plenty of attack speed from other sources. I don't know that we need another... Um, I don't think we need another forge out at this point. I think we have enough. Boink. Boink. Not bad. Magic damage 11, so piercing damage... Piercing damage to go with the attack speed. Oh, shoot, we got a ghost, which is fine. Okay, so if we put down another village, we do actually force ourselves into getting another, um, or into getting a bandit camp. That's fine. We'll, we'll deal with it. The big concern is this. Oh, my God. We're going to die in this fight. That is so annoying. You're going to die in that fight. We are going to die there. There's a harpy and two of those people. That's really, really bad. We're, I think we're going to actually have to use one of our revives already, and that's really frustrating. This is three damage. It also gives us the defense. Defense. Oh, my God. Finally, there's the blood grove. Frustrating, oh well. What do we have for buffs? But we've lost our buffs, so maybe, just maybe. Oh, well, okay, never mind. Okay, go, 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 go. Oh, I'm good, okay. I, we might we might be fine. I thought there was going to be two here. There's not. That's not a big deal. I mean, it's stinky, but it's Okay. Vampirism up by, like, a lot. I actually think that that's worth it. It's very worth it. God, I wish we had another, uh, another blood grove for this. Boink. Boink. Yeah. We're missing some, uh, some pretty core ingredients for sure. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Got the 20 buff there. So we attack three times in a row. We should get the vampirism three times in a row, right? All right. We are... Oh, boy. We are certainly getting towards the realm of summoning the boss very soon here. Uh, this won't summon the boss, thankfully. Oi, oi, oi. Glad we got friends here. I think we could die on this loop. I think we totally could. Totally could. I actually think we'll rock that instead. Okay. I mean, it's in Blood Grove radius now, too, so that's really helpful also. Invasion, vampirism, don't, just don't even look at the, the the health. It's irrelevant. Ooh. Okay. I mean, those are our big stats, so. Come on. Three HP. Good. Oh, we have our we have an oblivion. We got an oblivion! That's big. That has to go. It just it just ruins us. It ruins us. We got nothing. All right, how many do we have? One, two. We have nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. We can 
put down two more, theoretically. Huge defense up. We could put a forest here, and we could do the uh, blood grove right like that, I guess. If we're coming, we're, we're looping around. Wait, which direction do we go? Go this way. I mean, we could do we could do one fight where we have the worms fighting us, right? From a, from a distance, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Right, he says famous last words. That's hardly an upgrade. Hardly an upgrade. Where are you going there, Harpy? A couple rocks. Unless I'm doing my math wrong. We can put that down. Okay. Are we done with the mountains already, though? Like, are we going to get the rest of him, rest of our HP from our uh, Ancestral Crypt, maybe? Okay, this is going to be an annoying fight. Oh, boy. No, you know what? I don't think we can do another Ruin. I don't think we can do what I was just saying. The Ruin fight. Oh, we're dead. We're so dead, dude. We're so dead. We're so dead. We're so dead. We're so dead. We did not get to set up appropriately. Okay, this whatever this is. We're so dead. Okay, well at least there should be one. We will get to heal before the boss though, and we can we can afford to risk it. Oh, you jerk. The timing on that is so stupid. Oh my god, the timing on that is so dumb. Oh, his HP goes up over significantly over the course of time there. Uh, I guess that changes things. Mm. I have a frown upon my face. This did not end up working as well as I wanted. No siree, Bob. That sucks. Uh, we have our revive, you know? Attack speed counter. It's just, there's, there's like, there's not any real hope, is there? I mean, well, the, the, I guess the hope is that we have our full revive and that that's like super, super, super strong. Yeah, like, uh, I don't know. We have, we have 15 skulls. There's no reason not to try. Maybe we'll be really good. We're toast. When we hit our attack speed limit too, we're gonna be double toast. Yeah, we use up our stinky dinky revive, and then we're gonna use up our unstinky dinky revive as well. There's no questions asked. Yep. No questions asked. But we the good news is we should be able to to wait, do we have some kind of penalty? We don't die here too, do we? Oh my god! What? Does it bring us back with an HP penalty? What the hell? Failure again till we meet again, Zealot. Oh my god. What the hell? Also, we clearly did not revive before the boss. Or heal before. No, we we did, we did, we did. We just heal like we heal again? Is that what it is? We heal twice? If so, that's kinda neat. Alright. Um uh... hmm. Shall I Oblivion our Crypt? We've used our Revive. So probably, right? Hmm. 
It is a strange, strange scenario. If we can get an Oblivion, I will do it, and I will. Uh, I'll see how things, how things change as a result. I've never been able to appropriately try it. Oh. Eh. Defense, magic damage, damage to all regen. Instead of, I don't really care about counter. So yeah, sure. Oof. It's a little smelly of a fight here. Little smelly. I mean, yeah, like, a as mentioned, the, the risk for us dying is not that bad, really. It's fine. This, this is, this is, this is terrible. Oh. You never know, though. Like, you might... You might be surprised at how well things go. So since we have so many resources, and the series is like, it's getting close to its, uh, its wrap-up point. Like, the penalty for even just, for just trying. It's low. Yikes. Please. <laughs> You've got to be freaking kidding me. <laughs> I hate it! I hate it! I hate it! I hate this feeling of being done at 36 minutes and then I have to just sit here and be like, do I do, do I really put myself in the spot where I do another run that could be an hour and a half? No, of course not. Of course not. This really did not work. I've been told like I've been told to do Ancestral Crypt run with the with the warrior. I I see it working fine like I there's parts of it that I get. There's parts of it that I like. We got terrible RNG with when we got our blood groves. Just trying to think about this here. Is it worth it? You're missing out on so much HP. Why am I being told to use Ancestral Crypt? Why? Let, let, me, let me think. Is it just because of the revive? Hmm. Like the three HP for soul kill, I feel like, or for soul, it's not like this is a good thing. You're not taking that because it's going to be really, really good. You're taking that because, or, or, or that's there. It's kind of like a here. This is a way you can recuperate some of your massive, massive HP loss that you're going to incur. So that's not that bad. Uh, or, or it's like here. Look, this isn't that bad. Instead of here, look, this is good. I feel like the arsenal's important. Maybe. That's the thing that lets us reflect damage when we get hit. Or the zero milestone. We could definitely utilize it. Uh, I feel like the spider cocoon is important. Smith's Forge, I, I see maybe running like one. <laughs> I don't know that the, I don't think you need two. Uh, but I don't really like running the cemetery, so if we're if we run like a zero milestone. And we don't have to run this, the cemetery. We don't have to run the ruins. We can run this stuff. We can keep the forest and the rock. I mean, I, I feel like... I feel like that's the idea. Um, has historically felt the most effective to me there. Uh, what else we, what else would we change here? I feel like the battlefield is totally, totally fine. The outpost, it's kind of a weird one. It's kind of a weird one, but I think it's good enough. I, I think this is the stuff, right? The question is like, should we bring this storm temple? You can bring the storm temple. Like if you're attacking really, really fast, you kind of want some of it to be, I mean, like, cause then. If you're attacking really, really fast and you're doing true damage, that's really good. That's amazing. Uh, but anywho, we'll, we'll pick this. We'll, once again, we'll just rock this fight here. Because I do, I just don't have time. I don't have time to, to do the other thing. Uh, okay, so we have the zero milestone. We could put it here-ish. So if we're rocking this way, we get village, vampire. Did we turn off the vampire? 
Hold on. Retreat while we have no... We turned off the vampire mansion. Why? Probably just to try and uh, have a more pure... Pure deck. I, I like the vampire mansion fine. I like it fine. And then that. Okay, so zero milestone... I feel like there's no reason not to just put it like here, right? Because then we can put the battlefield there. All right, okay, so how the hell does this go now? How the hell does this go? River. What's up with this layout? It, it feel, why does it feel worse than normal? One, two, three, four. Yeah, we, we built... We should probably build it. have built it over here. Oh, well. Uh, so we could do... River. River. Ri oh, yoy, yoy. No, I really did mess it up, huh? I'm just so tilted. we do the river people have told me to do staircase as well we can run the river along up that way and then run it that way I guess that's fine that's fine okie doke keep that prep for a potential blood grove Bookery's great. Sure. Sure, 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 sure. Sure, 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 sure. We're sure. Ooh. If we put one here, then, what is it going to. Which. Oop. Clicked out of the window. Which direction is it going to spawn it? I don't even know. I don't even know. I just know I'm going to put down everything. We're going to speed run this here. Yeah, so everything up here, everything all the way up here is actually stronger than normal. So the thickets ruin us as the warrior. We get so hard countered by what they spawn that I feel like I feel like we can't also have the mountains due to the fact that the, the harpies wreck us, the goblins wreck us, and then they, this uh, thing spawn wrecks us. I feel like we can't have all of them. I feel like that just, it's a death sentence. It's an absolute death sentence. Uh, we want it relatively close to the median. here and there they have no souls so they can't be respawned as ghosts for better or worse for better or worse i realize i put this down here um i i put down my placement i've been playing uh since i've been doing the act four i was trying to preempt the uh the boss's spawn but if we're on act two it's not really gonna be not gonna be a concern All right, but at this point now we really do just gotta we gotta put them as close as possible for the median there. Close as possible for the median. River. Sand dude. <laughs> I cry. Okay. I mean, if it's this, uh, since it's not Act 4, it really doesn't matter if we put the outpost by the boss there. There's no no downside whatsoever, pretty much. Don't even know what this is. Regen and evasion. 
Good enough for me. Good enough for me. The blacksmith. Let's think, let's talk about the blacksmith card for a second. Is that is it good? Is it good? It's a great question. I think that I think it is good on this character. Cause it ups it ups your defense by what? By a percentage, right? Which is certainly interesting. Uh, there's no other character gets gets it as much as this character. So, uh, so this is gonna spawn like the vampire, the special vampire, I believe. Bup, 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 bup. Act two, I feel like, or chapter two, we don't need to care quite as much. I probably, like, I, I very much could die. I'm just kind of trying to theory craft a bit here, I guess. I feel like yesterday's build was better. So, I think we meet in the middle somewhere. I think we meet in the middle somewhere here. Got there. Yeah. Okay, so that hold on. The 10% chance to stun with really fast attack speed seems like a really good thing. Because it's just a flat It's just a flat 10%, right? Doesn't seem like it adjusts in any way. So if you're attacking really, really fast. I could see a world where you darn near perma stun almost <laughs> not entirely because you know obviously when you take that the evasion penalty you take that attack speed penalty as well but it, it seems like there's definitely some uh some mileage for some ludicrous stuff there i just realized we don't get the double i, I always do this but like here's the thing it doesn't really matter anyways because I don't want to I don't want to double the effectiveness of the deserts anyways you know what I'm saying so basically what we should be doing is we should be putting the suburbs on this side that's what we should be doing we should be putting the suburbs here all right and we should be putting the forest up there that's what we should be doing there's no reason to be putting the thickets by this if we're going to be turning it into an oasis. This is irrelevant to the last run we did because we didn't have the, the sand dunes and such. Hmm. Just, just putting on random stuff, seeing it, seeing how well we, we can do here. We got that 10% minus. We're going to spawn, yeah, the village. This is chapter two, though. I don't think it needs to be as big of a deal. However, it's about as far away from us as it can get. So that is actually kind of a problem. We may have, uh, I think we've probably janked it up. I think we janked it up indeed. But yeah, we certainly, certainly don't need the forests here. Like we can have a forest. No, we don't even need a forest here. If we want it to be an oasis, then there's just no benefit because we, it, it loses the doubling effect. We really should just have it over there. Whatever. Whatever. Can't change it now. Can't change it now. It's also act two, so we should not really be too concerned. Is it worth having the outpost? I feel like... The fun thing about having the bookery is that you can have cards like the outpost. And it doesn't really matter as much if you, like... Okay, so you get a 5%. 9%. The fives and the nines look so much alike. Yeah, this is terrible. That's really, that's really, really bad placement. I mean, it's not like we had any control over it. it just goes where it goes, you know? Goes where it goes.
Loki. Change my mind. I changed my mind on that one. Uh. It's fine. We can do some. We can do a spider fight with some vampire. Twenty percent defense. better between these two. I think it's this one. Certainly don't know, though. Hmm. Bup, bup. Bup, bup. It's feeling like a pretty effective build. I'll take some magic damage. Sure. Attack speed. I mean, damage to all is effective for us, certainly. Wheat field. Is a wheat field necessary when we bring this to Act Four? When we bring this to Act Four, is a wheat field necessary? Because like, I, why do I have it? I have it to fill up the road in the beginning, basically. Other than that, why is it there, right? Scarecrows are pretty rough. So why is it? Why is it even there? I guess because if we don't take it, then we have to take something else from the beginning. We could take the grove. I think we. I, I guess we take the grove, the base grove, just to fill up the beginning tiles. Even if they're like, uh, they're, they're semi spooky fights uh, on Act Four. But if we're only going to be putting down two, we might as well put down those instead, right? We actually we get loot that way. No, we could put the blood gong there, but thank God. And we could put the villages in spots where this guy would spawn. So if he spawns here, I mean that's something we could do. They, do they stack? I think they do. I mean, they, they rip through our items like crazy, but... What do we get? We get... Yeah, we lose out on, like, stable metals and such. I mean, that's... Oh, that was... A little rough. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Where do I want this son of a gun? I don't know if I want this son of a gun. So he comes out. Yeah, he's coming out now. That's fine. Does he attack by himself? He does indeed attack on his own as well. He's got 12 HP. It's weird. It's certainly weird. I will give it that 100%. We gotta make sure we look at this stuff. Counter, vampirism, nah. HP, that does matter now. But I don't think we are gonna go for it. Kind of reaching. Nah. We get our little pals here for this. I feel like the armory or the uh, the blacksmith is worth it. We just need to be careful. As with as with most cards in the game, like it's worth it if you're careful for a, for a lot of them. There's some of them where it just feels like it doesn't make it as much sense. Sure, sure, yeah, sure. I mean, this is not going to go on too long for this to really cause much of an issue, I think. Ups our damage. It's not... I don't think it's worth just picking the defense exclusively for that damage in that event, though. 
I don't think it gives us I don't think it gives us enough for that to be important. Personally, personally, personally. Alright. The zero milestone is I guess that's my big question. Should I try the zero milestone in Act 4? I could. It's just like... The revive from the Ancestral Crypt is very nice. There is no... No two ways around that. That is, that is just true. I feel like we don't want the wheat fields in this deck. Personally. Point. I do like. Huh. But yeah, it this losing the doubling effect. It's weird. It's so weird! Because yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what we put on the other side, it could be anything. So the, it it actually it doesn't matter that the force is here. Why am I saying we put that we should put the towns here? It just doesn't matter. This is as optimal as it needs to be. Weirdly enough, this is as optimal as it needs to be. <laughs> Feels very strange. I'm disappointed about losing that blood grove, of course, but like I didn't have a spot to put it where I wanted it. So whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay, so we go in, we're going to have how many? 30 hits. Uh, is 30 the max? I mean, I, I guess 30 is the max. It just, like, doesn't... It's, like, relatively arbitrary. Oh, shoot. Boosting that guy's HP by that much is... Rope. We're only at 40%. Uh, yeah, 40% attack speed? Yeah, not, not, not big. Give me forests and let me spawn the uh, the forest village. Thank you. No, I want to spawn the forest village. But only right now. Or if you give me a regular uh, village as well, I guess that would also be good. Then we can just ditch the old, uh, sure. Then we could ditch the old whatever the hell. Uh, <laughs> the forest village. Or we could di ditch the, uh, the bandit camp. That was the other thing I was thinking of. One of the two. But, alas, unless this is it. Oh, the luck. Oh, that's super lucky, because here's our bookery. Woof. Woof, woof. Another bookery. Another bookery. I'm gonna cycle the hell out of this wheat field until we get something else we want. Actually, now whatever we fight up there is gonna be much tougher than normal. We're never gonna like have cards by the time we get up there. It seems like. Or it's basically going to be whatever's left is like... Okay, so that's where there's there's no penalty, but no benefit from the Meridian. That might be worth it. That sucks! Oh my god! He got the 200% HP benefit. Oh my god. How often does this happen? Hopefully not often at all. Oh my god. Sir. I mean, we're doing fine regardless. He doesn't have the chance to uh, retaliate. You jerk. You absolute jerk. Oh my god, look at all that stuff, though. Do, do, do. Do, do. Do, 
do 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 damage to all is not a bad stat for us for this run we've got a, a cooking a cracking we have bookery feel a little goofy about it for sure I definitely feel goofy about it. But we can destroy anything that is just a, even, a, even a little bit inconvenient. We'll get a card or two here, probably. Oh, nice. Not enough to, uh, to cycle out our Oblivion. I kind of like that. It's lost perceived value otherwise. Anything worth ditching? Yeah. Whatever happens, happens there. All right. All right. All right. Excited to walk through bookery hell. Come on. Get ready to pause. Okay. Stick it. Stick it. Just put it there. Oh, well. Oh, wait. Smith's Forge, don't need it. Battlefield. Get wrecked. Alright. Ah, I was kind of hoping for... Well, um... If we put it here, it would get closed off. But I guess we could run it through the... We could run it through there. It's kind of weird. Kind of weird. Oh, hell. <laughs> it's so stupid. It's so stupid. This isn't going to run that much longer anyway, so we can we can just cycle it through here. That's fine. That is more than fine. We're almost done. Okay. I feel like our equipment is not great. I also feel like we've seen basically no blood groves, even though they are totally in our deck. So we just, if we get enough, we just loop it around and go down that way. Works for me. At this point, we can put that down because we're not going to run into any more of the golems. We might for this one. Yeah, we will for that one. But we're not for any of the others. Basically, as long as he's not the target of the... Uh... I, don't know. I don't think we want any more of those. As long as he's not the target of a quest, we're good. And he wasn't, so we're good. Woo! Battlefield, thank you very much. Okay. I don't know. Do we even like How much do we want the the Count's lands? Cause we could we could almost ditch the vampire and the uh and the village, you know? And it wouldn't be that big of a deal. Wouldn't be that big of a deal at all. We might not even run into anything for that. That's okay, though. We have never gotten another village. That's crazy, man. And if we put that there, we couldn't. We could not get any bandits. So that eats the bandit's, like, ability to go, right? Okay, so this is an abandoned bookery. Like, he can't... He, when we place down our third one, he doesn't just get the ability to show up all of a sudden, right? I don't think that there's a point in putting down these, but... I will do it anyway. Suburb. 
Oh. I just never actually anticipated we would get this. Rip. We get an Oblivion. Uh, I don't know. Is it better than... Ay, ay, ay. For science. So, yeah. Okay. So, even though that one... Th there was no... Uh, whatchamacallit. Last time, there was no... Uh, Bandit Village spawn. It didn't matter. That's kind of neat. Okay. Okay. Thirty hits. Yeah, it didn't, it didn't matter the suburb stuff. Oh well. I tried. Oh my god! It's the second time that's happened. Rip. That is the second time that's happened. I don't know. I don't care if we win or lose. No big deal. Can you please stop? Okay. We got the partners. We got the armor. We've got uh, a bunch of Oasi. We've got no blood growth. We do have our revive still. There's no way in hell we lose this. All right. Um, so we lose 46% attack speed. We have 44. Oh, wait. So we lost 46%. It was because it was combining with the other thing. Okay. I think the spirit of this build is... is right. Oh, ding. I think the spirit of this build is correct, though. I think that... So if we did this... We would have to bring... Oh, we'd have to bring two things there, though. That's... I guess that's it. To win is the warrior. Um, for bringing the blood grove, we can bring the ruins. That much is easy. Then we can bring the... We can bring the grove just to... Just to bring the grove, really. Uh, Vampire Mansion, do we want it? Do we actively want this there? I don't know. I also feel like the outpost, it's, it's it's a neutral thing. I don't know. It's weird. It helps a lot on the bosses, though. It really does. Uh, other than that, battlefield has been really routinely good for the warrior. I've I've liked that a lot. Having it really close to the to the uh, beginning of the loop. That's worked very very well for me. Um. Yeah. Other than that. I think that the desert and river combo for the oasis is the idea. It does not do the Dublin. It don't do no Dublin. So then, therefore, we can just run it alongside, like, the perimeter, basically. And it's not that big of a deal. And then we have the... I, th I think the forest is really good. I don't know. Certainly confused about what to do down here. I think it might be the arsenal. It might be the zero milestone. I don't know. I don't know on that one. That one's a really... That's really strange <laughs> to think about. Uh, other than that, any of these beneficial? Uh, when we hit a certain, like... I definitely do not hate the idea of bringing the storm temple. I don't think that's a bad idea at all. Beacon, movement speed, attack speed. I feel like the beacon's kind of irrelevant. Or worse. <laughs> it could be problematic. Oblivion, there's just... I don't know what in what world... What kind of... What kind of weirdo would ever want to remove Oblivion from their deck? It just feels way too important. I get super happy every time I draw it, basically. I, I really don't... I don't know. Um... Uh, yeah. It comes down to do I would I want the vampire mansion with this? What would I put it by? Why would I bring it? If I'm not bringing the village, why would I bring it? And if we're not bringing the village, are we going to slowly die? The 
might. We might. I don't know. I'll think about it. But that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button. And hey, check out the channel for Rogue Wakes more every single day. And I will see you next time. Bye.